Hello guys, we're back again in the beautiful world of Photoshop. I'm Gmax from Gmax Studios, your host for today. Okay, right now I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how you can get it right, especially when it comes to skin texture. We got a lot of questions in the past few weeks on how I'm able to get this amazing skin texture for my images and I'm going to be revealing that secret to you today. Now note that there are things you should do while you're even doing your frequency separation to get it right. Remember I said in my previous videos that the amount of um, texture that is being taken away from your low frequency is being preserved in your high frequency. Okay, and then um, quick one, I would just want to explain these layers here. If you're new to my channel, I have series of videos, um, tutorials on that explain all of this. Like over here, we are having our frequency separation, which I have a video on that, especially when it comes to the mixer brush. I have tons of videos on that. So if I turn this off, if I just turn this off, let's just take this off. Okay, if I turn if I turn this off, you're going to see where we started from. This is our before frequency separation and then our after. And I have a special video on how to do your frequency separation on a blank layer, on an empty layer, a detailed video on that and how you can achieve that. So if you want to go check that out, it is uh, you can check out the channel. And you will get to see these videos also i also have a video on understanding skin toning so this is like a before if you notice the skin irregularities here was corrected using the skin toning method look at this chin, chin part it was also corrected using that method and then an extra of the same skin toning method to be able to bring back that um glow in the image and blend the tones for it to look even so if you want to check out these videos they are all there in the channel that will give you a better understanding on getting your image right and getting it to where it should be. Okay, let that just settle in and then you now try work with that as a guideline while you're doing your frequency separation to be able to retain your texture. Okay, now back to our topic for today. Now for me, this image is not, um, is not well textured and I will want it to come in the best way possible so the first thing i would want to do is okay let me open up the group for my frequency separation yes i'm seeing a lot of texture here but i'm not satisfied with this i would just want to add a little more texture and why i'm getting this texture is because of the amount of blow i used so remember that the amount of blow you use affects your texture also that will be preserved there are two ways you can do this okay the first thing i'm going to do is I can actually come to my high frequency remember this high frequency is your texture layer and this low frequency is your tones and color layer so i'm just going to come to my high frequency and then i'm just going to du duplicate it ctrl j now voila see the amount of texture that has popped up now we just duplicated the texture layer and having a whole lot of textures coming through the image now for me what i would want to do is i don't want this too much i just want to have that um, texture popping out so I could reduce this a little bit so I think 30 is fine for me so we're already having a lot of texture so now you just want to to mask this in and then introduce this texture we we'll invert it you can either click on this and then click invert to invert it to black or you can just use a shortcut key ctrl i ctrl i you can actually also invert it now i'm just going to pick up my brush and then i'll brush on the face or on the skin sorry i mean and then maybe places that you notice that the skin texture is already much you can avoid those places right okay so i think i'm good now in most cases you can actually brush all over your skin but for this particular case i will not want to do that because some places are sharper than some other places so i'll just add that here once i'm done i'll take a look at my picture this before and this after before and after look at how the skin comes back to life okay then the next thing i'm going to do is I'm just going to 
merge this layer now the fastest way i can do that is shift alt control e merge all and create a new layer okay i just did that okay once i do that i will now go over to my filter on my layer on the new layer i just created go to filter go to others and then i'm going to go to high pass then on my high pass i will want to work with 1.8 to 2.0 depending on your image but for this image let's go with 1.8 And then I'm just going to come to change it to over overlay. Now note that for your high pass, you can either use your overlay or use your vivid light. But your vivid light is harder. So if you want a that hard texture on your image, you can actually sorry this linear light. You can go with your vivid light. But if you want something soft, you can go with overlay. For me, I mostly prefer overlay, and there are times that I, when I want that plenty texture, I go in for for my vivid light. Okay, so now voila, look at the overall image. This is the before, this is the after. Before, after. So it's not pretty amazing. So you can just come reduce on that texture and then mask it in, invert it. So now this image is already having texture i just did this to show those of you that are having issues with your texture having issues with texture for your image how you could quickly fix it so once i do that let's come in again and say before after before after to see how that texture comes in play very well okay so by doing this you'll be able to get back that detail texture for your image so that when you post it on ig post it on facebook at the end of the day especially like on facebook even if facebook intends to drop the quality or your whatsapp status the um decide to drop the quality and if you're looking for the best i am um, whatsapp to use that will be able to sell your business and take your brand to the next level i uploaded a video on the whatsapp i use that I post sharp images that all my 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 customers are always wowed at. So if you want to check out that video and also get the link to download that WhatsApp, it is also there in the video. So for this image, once you post this image with this kind of texture or this kind of texturized um, image on whether Facebook, whether your WhatsApp status, at the end of the day. Because of the amount of texture you have in your image, it should be retained and it will be stronger than when you're just posting your image that are very soft. So thank you so much for watching. I remain your host, Jimak from Jimak Studios. And if you're new to my channel, please do well to subscribe, do well to um, like this video, and don't forget, share. Make it the point of duty that once you see our video, you drop that, that like button and you drop a comment for us. And if you have any question, regards this or regards future future topics you want us to look out or to do please drop a comment and let us know thank you so much for watching thank you for staying tuned i remain your host as i said gmax from gmax studios thank you
and if you're new to my channel do well to subscribe and turn on the post notification we usually have our live master classes free for everyone here on the channel so that once we go live you'll be notified of our classes and lastly make it a point of duty that each time you see our content you smash that like button you drop a comment for us and you do well to share this comment to as many as possible thank you so much for the support